Okay, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, welcome along to the first in a series of uh, webinars from Providence CRM. Uh, my name is Martin McNamara, and along with my uh, colleague, Sarah Tatum. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're gonna spend the next 20 to 25 minutes uh, just um, running through and talking to you a little bit about the new sugar. Um, so online today, we've got a combination of both existing uh, sugar users and potential new sugar users. So uh, welcome to you all. Uh, what we want to present to you is a little bit about how sugar has changed over the last uh, 12 to 18 months and show you some of the new products and features that sugar now offer. Uh, I'm going to cover the initial uh, few minutes on some of the broader aspects and then Sarah will take over uh, to delve a little further into specific products and, and solutions. And then hopefully we'll have time at the end uh, for a couple of questions as well. So the new sugar, what do we mean? Um, it, as I mentioned, a lot of change in the past sort of year and a half uh, with sugar, significant new investment uh, into the company, uh, changes from the very top of the organization. And this allowed major upgrades and investment uh, into the product as well. Um, sugar have developed a new a new vision and a new mission um, as to what sugar and can do and how to do it. Um, so the vision is about creating a world where companies cultivate customers for life by anticipating and fulfilling needs before customers realize they have them. Uh, the mission then uh, is enabling businesses to create customers for life with the world's first intelligent, no touch customer experience platform. Um, so we'll show you a bit more about how we're going to deliver on this in, over the next uh, 20 minutes or so. And what it means effectively is that Sugar can now help you with every aspect of the customer journey from demand creation, demand generation, sales acceleration, pipeline management, customer success and service, and support to maintain those customers. There's a full range of new and enhanced products that cover all these aspects, and we'll delve into those uh, in, a sh in a little while. Um, so there's four new pillars to sugar. What are those four new pillars and, and what do they mean? So um, the time aware customer experience platform, we're going to delve deeper into this, but effectively this is about tying your information together in context of when activities took place and how trends are moving. Um, no touch information management. This is automating data entry as far as possible in sugar and shifting the balance for the user between effort and reward. Continuous cloud innovation is using the power of AWS, Amazon Web Services, to turbocharge Sugar's development and rate of bringing new products and features to market. So instead of wasting time on our own cloud infrastructure, we piggyback on market leading cloud infrastructure and focus on the front end instead of the back end. Commitment to customers uh, in prioritizing their success and interest over Sugar's is the final pillar, and we'll see how this works in practice when we look at products in more detail. So time, why do you make um, such a big deal about time? If you're familiar with all the CRM systems, you know they're great at tra tracking the current state, opportunities in the pipeline, customer contacts, open support cases. The problem is that the current state is a single point in time. Um, and it's lost the moment that something changes. What, we, what, what we're doing then instead is we're bringing the information together with timestamps and we can start using AI powered analysis to analyze the results and give us much greater insight into the state of our business and how it's changing and trending over time. No touch information management. If you're familiar with other CRM systems, you're gonna recognize what I'm talking about. Um, most CRM systems are descendants of original CRMs from the 1990s in terms of design. And some of the worst design issues of those original CRM systems persist today. And this includes very much data entry fatigue. No touch information management isn't a feature. It's a design philosophy for creating software that people will actually love using. We think the, the idea of putting more information into a system than you get out is crazy. Can you imagine having to type more information into a Google search than you get back? Nobody would do it. So instead, why, so instead, the idea with this is that you're typing in a minimal amount of information and you're proactively getting a lot of information back to you. 
So what does no touch actually look like in action? There's a couple of different products that, that helped in this area. Sugar Discover, instead of searching for metrics or information, dynamically presents it to you. So automatically and proactively surfacing and presenting relevant information to the user. Sugar Hint automatically provides information and updates on leads, contacts, and companies. Sugar Connect seamlessly syncs email information into your CRM and shows you communication in context with your contacts. Sugar Integrate, which is brand new, um, allows, makes it much easier and faster to integrate and sync other business applications into Sugar. A surprising number of, of vendors in the CRM and CX space rely on propri proprietary clouds for one or more of their offerings. This includes the very biggest names in CRM. It's simply not possible for even the largest proprietary cloud vendors to keep pace with Amazon and Google's level of investment. Sugar instead have taken a different route and they've chosen to use AWS as a public cloud service provider so we can focus on our product instead of our hosting. However, hosting is only about 15% of the innovation available from a modern public cloud provider. The difference is that Sugar is architected to maximize leverage of AWS's cloud computing capabilities. So what does that actually look like? I'll give you an example. Um, just this month, Sugar have released this new Nurture Builder feature in Sugar Market. Nurture Builder is an easy to use tool for designing marketing nurture campaigns. It's literally a drag and drop interface for designing how marketing prospects will, in, will be engaged throughout their customer journey prior to becoming a sales lead. The new Nurture Builder uses five different AWS services, which enable accelerated time to market with no additional cost, no additional cost to customers. An unfortunate reality uh, with CRM is that it doesn't always have the most sterling reputation. In fact, the recent emotional footprint review by Software Reviews put numbers to a trend that was well known. These are actual words used to describe vendors in the CRM industry. Not very flattering, I think you'll agree. Um, sugar is very different. That same emotional footprint study showed that sugar customers like doing business with us. Those customers appreciate that they have a trusted partner to reliably deliver on promises, treat them fairly in all business schemes, be respectful of their time and put their success first. Customers for Life is both a continuous product objective and a solemn business commitment. The proof of this is in how consistently well reviewed Sugar is by actual users of the products. So not just by industry analysts or magazines or tests, but by actual users of the products. So to summarize, the four pillars of Sugar today, intelligent customer experience platform, which harnesses customer data and discovers actionable insights and next best actions. No touch information management, which spends less, which means you spend less time entering and finding data and more time on high, high value work. Continuous cloud innovation, trust in the most modern, durable, and future-proof CX platform on the market. And then finally, the lifelong to commitment to customers. Now I'm going to hand you over to Sarah, who's going to go into more detail on the products that make up the new sugar. Great, thanks Martin. Hello again everybody. Okay, so I'm going to take you through uh, the new cloud offerings that sugar have. Um, this will include their core offerings and the available add-ons. So if we go to the next slide, thank you. So a quick overview and then we'll have a look at them individually. So the first line there you can see is cloud. Um, sugar Cell, Sugar Market, and Sugar Serve. Um, these are only available in the Sugar Cloud now. Um, updates to these products are every quarter, so you'll see new enhancements regularly. And remember, with Sugar's Cloud, they utilize AWS and all of their features. Uh, so you know that every release will be exciting and continuously innovative. On premise, so you will have heard of these, the professional and enterprise editions. Um, doesn't literally mean that it's on your own server. Um, it could be that you're currently hosting with us. Um, it just basically means anywhere other than the Sugar Cloud. With the on-premise install, um, there's an update of once a year as opposed to the cloud, which is every quarter. So the add-ons on the bottom there, 
Uh, you'll recognise some of those, um, but we're going to go into them uh, with a quick overview today. So we'll start with the next slide, which will be Sugar Market. So Sugar Market helps marketers uh, by combining social media management and SEO tools in a single all you need marketing automation package. So you can attract more visitors to your site, track their digital journey to learn where they interact and convert on your website, um, create professional and powerful marketing campaigns with intuitive email and landing page builders, in, in turn delivering the best leads to your sales team through the robust nurture and scoring capabilities. So if we hop over to the next slide, we'll have a quick look at uh, the sugar market functional overview. Okay, so there's five main steps, capture, nurture, score, align, and measure. So within that capture, um, this is obviously the very beginning of that customer's journey with you. So what are they doing on your website? What are they clicking on on your social medias? Um, and then obviously what you're going to do with that information, if they've downloaded an asset, if they've clicked on a certain link or a certain page, you're then going to want to nurture them um, by obviously designing a nurture campaign um, based on the actions that they do off the back of that nurture campaign, for example, you can then promote them scores. Um, so a, a popular example would be somebody's been on the website, they've downloaded a, a PDF, they're then added to a nurture campaign. Um, and then throughout that nurture campaign, they're, they're adding up a score value. Um, so for example, once that score hits maybe 50, um, at that point, you will obviously then align it um, with your salespeople and then your sales team can seamlessly see all of that information and then contact that lead, um, obviously to pursue it further. And of course, there's a seamless integration to Sugar Cell from Sugar Market. So you don't need to be hopping into both systems to find out what data is where. You will see as a salesperson in Sugar Cell, what's been going on for market. And then obviously the marketeers in Sugar Market we'll see what opportunities have been raised off the back of their marketing efforts. So the next slide, a sugar sell. Some key features here, some of you may already be aware of them, um, but of course, management, you can oversee leads, opportunities, accounts and contacts. Um, transparency, um, you can always give everyone in your organization uh, a context for each customer interaction, as well as insight about what to do next. Reporting and dashboards um, with obviously loads of out the box customized reports. You can monitor your key business metrics, um, utilize those reports that will turn customer data into business insights. Product catalog and quote management. Um, so you can place your product catalog right in SugarCell um, and you can search and browse for products. Um, in addition, you can run reports on the opportunities and the revenues associated with each of those products. Sales forecasting. Um, so with sugar sales quote management, you can streamline your sales cycle, increase deal velocity, and with um, sugar BPM, with a robust business process management. So if we hop over to the next slide, I've got some screenshots to, to show you. Right, we'll start with the top left screenshot. This is the renewals console. So the renewals console is available in sugar cell only. Um, and it's, it's basically a, a part of your dashboard now. So when you first log in, you're going to get a whole list of any opportunities or renewals um, that are due to be closing in the next week, two weeks, however you've got that filtered out. Um, and then when a the user clicks on one of those, the screen then splits into four sections. Um, so right there and then they've got all of the information about the opportunity. Directly underneath that, they've got all of the information about the customer. They've got all of the interactions around what's been going on with that opportunity, what calls, meetings, tasks have been held. And then there's the comment log, which is like an internal collaboration field. So directly from the homepage, you've got all of that information on the renewals console. To the right hand side of that one, the product catalog. So I mentioned this uh, just on the last slide, really easy, intuitive, nice to use. You simply click on a, a, a category and then find the product you're looking for. Once you click it, it populates your quote. So there's no need to do loads of searching, SKU number searches, things like that. And then bottom left, this is the um, robust BPM. So that stands for Sugar's Business Process Manager. So this is a visual uh, designer where you can build as many processes as you wish. Um, so for example, the one here that we're looking at is to remind the user if they've got an opportunity that they haven't modified or looked at within the last couple of months, which is due to close in the next 15 days. So it's basically going to send them an email to say, don't forget, you're going to be closing this in the next two weeks. Are you sure 
you know, this is as it is, do you need to make any changes? So you can use that um, workflow to, to build a number of processes around your sales stages. On the right hand side at the bottom here, this is the Kanban view, again available in SugarCell. Um, so instead of looking at a whole list of opportunities and users obviously filtering through those lists, um, you can just simply, with one click of a button, put in a view like this. So we've got all of our opportunities closing by time, so we've got all of the months there. And you can also do it um, opportunities by stage. This enables users just to drag and drop. So if there's something that they've got closed in April, something's happened, it's now moved to June, they just drag and drop it into June. <clears throat> okay, next one, Sugar Serve. So this is a game-changing new offering um, for automation of customer support processes. It puts everything that the agents need um, to work on a support case right at their fingertips. Um, it's an integrated and optimized console experience, which we'll show you in a second. So the service console is a key feature of SugarServe, um, placing all of the essential data points, such as next best action based on the SLA, account and contact information, um, account activity history, um, and even case details with no searching or navigation required. So some of the other key features include SLA management, prioritizes the work, ensures SLA achievement, and measures support performance through the coordinated management of complex SLAs, multi-region business centers, and business hours. Sugar BPM automation, we just spoke about that a second ago, but that's also available in SugarServe. Um, a self-service customer portal, it enables customers to resolve issues and find answers to their questions with an easy to use customer portal and knowledge base. And of course, with all of this information, you're gonna want your reporting and analytics. So provide support center managers with deeper insights into the metrics um, that matter, you know, so you can identify trends. So let's have a look at some of the screenshots on SugarServe. Um, top left, well, at the top there, um, very similar to the renewals console, but this is the service console. So the information you get here is, of course, only on SugarServe. You log in, you've got a whole list of your cases there, which are defined or filtered by SLA, first response date, and things like that. The agent simply clicks on one of those cases and the screen opens out into four areas. At the very first part there, you've got all of the information about the case. Underneath there, all of the information about the customer and, of course, all of the activities that are going on as well. Bottom right hand side, this is an example of a service uh, BPM. So you can set up as many um, automated workflows as you like, looking at obviously all of the, the cases and what's going on with the customers. Um, but this particular one here is slightly complex and it's looking at a number of different uh, avenues. So if a case has been opened, you've gone back to the customer to get some more information. They haven't responded to you within 48 hours, therefore you're gonna shift the SLA and send them an email. You know, so there's a load of uh, constraints there of what if this happens, then do, you know, the next action. And then on the left at the bottom, this is one of my favorites, actually. This is uh, um, also new in SugarServe on cloud. Um, so this is change timers. Basically, what this is doing is it's monitoring everything that the user is doing on a case and it date and timestamps um, in business hours, obviously, depending on what you set your business hours as and businesses uh, and hours in total. So for example, you might want to build some reports to say, show me all of the cases um, that met SLA last week, show me all of the cases that exceeded SLA last week. Um, and with those change times, you can do exactly that. Okay, we've covered the core offerings. Um, so we're gonna take a quick look at the add-ons. So Sugar Discover. This is a new approach to customer analytics that makes it incredibly fast and easy to extract insights from your Sugar data. You can track and analyze meaningful and actionable metrics, KPIs, and analytics automatically. You can, in essence, rewind history, understand trends, and make accurate predictions about the future with that historical data analysis. So unlike a general purpose BI tool, Sugar Discover provides real value on day one. Um, with Sugar Discover, there is no need to build and maintain your own analytical database. No need to learn SQL and no need to run any um, ETL, so any, any data migration processes. No need to learn complicated general purpose BI tools and no need to hire an extensive technical resource. Any person with basic sugar user skills can be exploring sugar discover 
and discovering those actionable insights from day one. So sugar hint, some of you may have already heard of this one as well, but hint is like having your own, your very own personal assistant. One that keeps you updated with key insights on your prospects, so you know who to contact, when to contact them, and with what message. So hint automatically gave us, gathers data from a broad range of social, news, and business sources to provide valuable customer intelligence directly within your sugar. Users can dive into any account, any contact or lead, to immediately retrieve information to enhance their understanding of customers. So the example we have on the screen there, I've put my name in and my email address, that's it. And as you can see on the right hand side in the intelligence pane, it's gone and found some mobile numbers for me, it's gone and found where I work, it's gone and found any information about Providence CRM, um, any information about my Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So that's on a lead and a contact view. Um, and then the pop out screen that you see there is what you get on a company view. Um, as well as obviously all of the details around the company and um, directly underneath that you get loads of information if they've been referenced in any news. Um, so you get obviously the latest news that's going on there as well. Okay, Sugar Integrate. Uh, as Martin mentioned earlier, this has just been released. It's brand new. So Sugar Integrate makes every integration a reusable integration artifact. From custom fields to integration logic, to extending or creating new adapters, Sugar Integrate will provide a one-to-many integration approach in which, of course, each subsequent integration will take less time and less effort to build. Okay, quick time check, great. Okay, Sugar Connect, Martin also referenced this earlier as well. Um, but basically keep your CRM, email and calendar tools up to date without having to ever manually enter data. So with Sugar Connect, your Google Suite or your Office 365 accounts can connect with your Sugar instance to surface relevant data from Sugar as you interact with prospects and customers in real time in Office 365 or Google. It's not just emails that stay synced, um, Sugar Connect lets you access and update Sugar. Um, so you can add opportunities, add tasks um, directly from within your mail client using the, the Connect side panel there. Sugar Connect also has an array of um, other tools such as email templates and email tracking, um, personal calendar links to enable you know, your, your clients to book meetings with you um, on your free busy times as well. And then last but not least, the Sugar Customer Journey plugin. Um, some of you will already be familiar with this as well. Um, so the Customer Journey plugin um, is the ability to visualize a process or series of tasks um, that, that you've got set up on a template um, for anything that you're going to be doing in Sugar. So some common examples would be um, a GDPR compliance tracking. Um, another one would be an onboarding experience. So when you bring on a new client, what are the, the processes, the steps within those processes that everybody needs to complete? So that would give you a visual overview of where that customer is on that onboarding process and what's left to do. Um, you can have Sugar Customer Journey on any module um, and you can have lots of templates for every module as well. Completely configurable, of course. So that brings us to the end. So thank you very much for, um, for, for taking the time. Um, we're going to come to some questions and answers in a second. Um, but just one final message from myself is that for all existing customers that are on here um, who host their own Sugar, of course, or host with us, there's a deal that you could take advantage of at the moment um, if you're interested in taking a look at Sugar Cell and Sugar Serve. If you do want to know more about that specific deal, please email sales at providentcrm.com or speak to your account manager. Okay, great. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate it. Um, so we've got a couple of questions. We've got a couple of minutes left, so we'll try and answer those um, for you now. So uh, we got the first one here, which is, um, can I get both sell and serve um, together? Uh, the short answer to that is yes. Um, depending upon your organization and your requirements, uh, you might want a combination uh, where users either have um, sell and serve together, or you might have certain people who don't need access to sell and other people who don't need access to serve. So you can mix and match that uh, as required to suit um, various business functions that you have. 
Um, second question we got, <clears throat> which is quite a good one. Uh, why should I move to Sugar's Cloud? There's a lot of benefits, I guess, to moving to Sugar's Cloud. Um, first of all, some of the products that we've shown today um, are only available uh, from Sugar Cloud. So that's quite important in terms of, of the offering that there is behind it. You're also getting the benefit then of the AWS services and you're getting the benefit then of the four uh, quarterly updates a year, um, bringing you new features and new functionalities every um, three months. So that, that's pretty important. Uh, obviously then in terms of security and backup, uh, there's absolutely no issues there. So it's against your production and cost if you're hosting on premise currently. Um, number three, how many releases are there per year? Uh, I've covered a little bit of that. There's four, uh, four releases a year, which bring uh, new updates uh, every quarter. Um, so that's quite important. And as I said, a good reason for uh, moving uh, to cloud hosted. Great, thank you. Okay, so I've um, also got some questions here. So the first one is, what is involved in moving from Sugar Professional, uh, hosted in Sugar's cloud, um, to AWS cloud hosted Sugar Cell. Okay, so there's actually not too much involved um, in, in upgrading from professional to Sugar Cell. Uh, we can reach out to you, um, to obviously, to, to talk about your instance um, and, and what would be involved there, but it is a nice, straightforward um, migration. Next question Can you show or describe how ongoing monthly recognized revenue is captured and presented in the renewal? Renew, uh, I can't speak in the renewal console of Sugar Cell. Yes, we can. Uh, don't have time today. Um, we will be doing a series of webinars um, moving on. So the next one, I, I believe, is a deep dive into Sugar Cell, but we'll pass that question on to your account manager as well, who can reach out to, to provide you with that. Next question. Is there a customer quote tool available in Sugar CRM? Yes, there is. Um, happy to reach out to go through uh, that with more information for you. But the quoting tool is also available on the mobile apps that you get. So you can do quotes on the go. Um, and to put a quote together in Sugar is very quick, very easy, very simple. Um, another question here, is data stored in the UK? Okay, so... Um, with the AWS hosting, obviously on Sugar Cell or Sugar Serve or um, Sugar Market, um, the AWS hosting at the moment is in Dublin. Um, there is, if it's not released already, I'd need to check, but there is a, a London um, location as well. Okay, Martin, do you have any? Do you have any other questions coming um, your way? Just checking now. Oh, sorry, we we still have a minute, so guys, if you've still got any questions, please. Uh, send them across. Oh, I have one here, um, which is, is Sugar Cell and Sugar Serve um, still a, is, is, the, is the pricing still a per user per year basis? Yes, it is. But um, we can contact you with more information on your specific um, users for that one. How can I find out more information? You can contact sales at providentcrm.com or of course reach out to your account manager um, you should know who that who that is and okay i think that's all we got is it i think that's all the, the questions at the moment Okay, well, look, um, thank you everybody for attending this afternoon. I hope you found that useful. As I said, this is the first in our um, series of webinars. We'll be delving deeper um, as we go along into more specific product um, features. Uh, in the meantime, as Sarah mentioned, if you have got any questions about anything you've seen today or anything additional that you might have seen, I'm more than happy to uh, reply and deal with you directly. Uh, so you can contact either your account manager or sales at providentcrm.com. Uh, there's nothing further. I think we will uh, leave it there for today. And um, thank you all. And we'll speak to you again soon.